when you, when you do a weight-bearing movement or put weight-bearing pressure on your muscles, opposed to a cardio exercise, but you must implement cardio in with weight training because what happens is, after you finish doing a weight-bearing movement on the muscles, the body continues to burn calories. Whereas that when you finish cardio exercises, that's it. Reason why you burn calories is because the muscles have to rebuild. In that rebuilding, there's a lot of things that take place, okay? Amino acids, is the building blocks of the muscle. Okay, we're not going to get too technical right now dealing with the muscle, but the muscle fiber is about the, the size of a strand of hair. Okay? <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, I want you guys, and you know, different things we've done to get better, you want to master all these movements. Now, the reason why I haven't tried to give you names of these movements is because I want you to remember the positions of the movement of, instead of trying to remember the name right now because think about it, if we go over 20 movements and you try to remember every little position in, in 20 movements, do you really think you're concerned with the name as of yet? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying because I am going to start giving you names and when I do, you got to remember them. I mean I can't do all the work, okay? <laughs> So if I'm going to start giving you names, reason why you should do certain things, it, it's just like people say, well, I don't like eating vegetables. Uh, or, oh, good example. There's a commercial that talks about sugar. And in this commercial, it says, well, the body don't know the <laughs> difference of the sugars. Mm -hmm. Do you guys believe that? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I want you to look it up. Yeah, I mean, now, like, if it's, like, carbohydrates and stuff that converts to, like, sugars later, but, like, if it's a sucrose or a fructose, I mean, it's all sugar. I want, so, you, to, I want you to look it up. Okay. And when you come back, when we come back next Saturday, I want you to have something for me. Okay. Because all sugars do not react the same way on the system. Really? We're just going to do, but I want your feet to be about shoulder width apart. Always shoulder width apart in this position. Cheryl, okay. <laughs> Suck in on your core. You can look up if you want to, but if you have a hard time coming up off the seat, uh, I was going to say, Nita, I mean, coming up, okay? I want you to lean forward but keep your knee and your ankle. <laughs> I, want, I want your knee and your ankle to stay in line. And all you do is here. Lean a little bit, but don't scoot. Inside of those legs on the chair, just slide it to the inside. Stop. Okay. Cheryl, go. Go ahead. Not bad. Kimmy, go. Keep going, Cheryl. Kimmy, I need you to make sure you don't flop. Just. Park it. Ah! You flop. Come up. And. Come up. Sit. Knee to go. I already know the deal with the knee, so I want you to go as best as you can. I see you. Can we keep going? I'm doing what we can. Doing <laughs> okay, the main thing for you. Uh -huh. Even if you do, I want you to keep your core contracted. I want you guys to make sure to keep your tummy tight. Okay. Okay? Because remember what we did last time? 
we wound up putting everything together. Remember, I, I, I showed you the different movements, mm -hmm. and then at the end, I went on ahead and just sped things up. Okay? Take a breather. Okay? The squat is considered to be one of the best movements, excuse me, for the glutes, which is going to be, of course, all three portions of the derriere, your, your quad, which is the top of your leg, and your hamstring, which is the rear part of your leg. And by you sucking in on your stomach, what's going to happen is you're going to engage your core. When you engage your core, normally the chest comes up anyway. When, that's right, if you think about it. Did, did, did you feel a difference? When you suck in, I can see your chest raising. When you do it again, uh-huh, relax, relax, okay? <laughs> Engage the core again, relax. Engage the core, uh-huh. Now, that's how you want to come up. Do that again and come off the seat, all three of you. Cause so I again, that's we're coming up? Yeah, I, I have all three, my, my peripheral vision. What's better, Nina? Now, you, what I want to tell you while you're doing this, you should be, the back should be kind of uncomfortable. Yes. It is. Ah, you, <laughs> yes. It is. That means you're doing it right. Oh. I, and <laughs> I, I, I see, I, stop, stop. Right here. See this? Okay. <laughs> For all you ladies, you're going to have to concentrate on keeping those shoulders back. Okay? Now, for you ladies, for, for instance, you're a nurse. A lot of times you're always leaning over anyway. Okay? It's, it's one of the worst things. Massage therapist is another one. It's one of the worst things for massage therapists along with cos I mean, uh, hairdressers. Okay? They have a tendency to keep the shoulders over like this. And what normally happens, if you're big busted, it tends to pull you over. And as you get older, it keeps pulling you over. Okay? Which means that the rear delts. Okay, there's three muscles here. You have one on the outside, you want to have one here, have one in the front, okay? That means that you need to do things to strengthen the muscle in the back of the shoulder, which is the rear delt, okay? So it's anterior, posterior, medial head of the delt itself. So when you, it splits, there's one, those are the... I can't see that. <laughs> As we go along, these are things that we're talking about because there's a reason why a person walks like this. There's a muscle imbalance taking place. There's a reason why if, if let's say you get out of bed and the first thing you say when you get out of bed, after you went and you brush your teeth, that I did what you had to do, next thing you know you say, wow, I have, I have this ache in my back. Now, you know that you hadn't been lifting up on anything that was heavy, and you think about it, e even if you just knelt down and picked up a pen or a pencil the wrong way, you could injure your back, but normally what's happening is there is a muscle imbalance, which means when you got out of bed, you pull something, or when you did lean over to pick up that pencil or pen, you turn incorrectly. If you turn your body here, and you go down, that's wrong. Because now my spine is out of line. You're supposed to face whatever you are lifting at all times. No matter what it is. When you turn in your, if, if you're in a seat and you turn like this, that's incorrect once again. You're supposed to get up, go get it. Yeah, what's you supposed to do? Okay, let's do some more squats. This will be set number three, by the way. I'm keeping up with the sets. How about that? <laughs> All I need you to do is to, okay, sit for me. Okay, stop. Move your feet out some. Can we keep going? Need to keep going? Come forward your feet. Come on, forward. Ha, ha, ha. Now, this may like hard for you. <laughs> sit. Take your, lean your booty. Throw your booty back. Okay. Throw your buns back. Out. Good. Keep going. Because in a moment I'm going to give you guys a number to go for. 
reason why I'm not saying anything to the two of you is because you, you, you haven't done anything wrong yet in this movement. You're doing it right. I have to keep my own Cheryl over here. She was just going on, just to make it look real easy. Got Cheryl. Got Cheryl. All right, take a breather. In a moment. The next move we're going to do, after we complete two more sets of that, is going to be a, a, a lunge. That's a walk-out stationary. I took one step out and I was in a stationary position. I didn't keep moving. Okay? Remember, you can use the chair to help you. So you want to take your chair, turn it, run around. Okay? Not bad. Okay. Stay on your toe in the rear. Stay on the toe when you step out. So when I stepped out, I was here. One movement, and I like to go wide. Because when I come down, okay? Remember the core is always engaged, okay? Good. I was supposed to do it. No, you, that, you did right. That was good. Just kind of lean back a little bit for me, though. Good. Now, remember, we modified yours so you don't have to go as low. But I need you to step wide, though. Wide step. Wide, 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 wide. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm almost thinking you need two cheers. Just go ahead. I'll put, I will put two on both sides just, just in case. We're, we're going to call Cheryl short legs here. <laughs> I think I, I need to see it here, Ron. No, help me see. Mm -hmm. so go, that's good. That's good. Remember how we, what we were saying before? You want to begin to gradually work your way down. How many are we going to do on one side? How many have you done on one side? <laughs> okay. Let's go with... Now, stop right there. Don't move, don't move. Take your trail leg, turn your foot in. Turn it in. Turn it, turn this it. One? The one behind oh. you. Oh. Okay. Now, come up on your toe in the back. Stay on your toe. Now, lean backward and just go straight down to the floor with the trail. That's it. Come up, stay on your toe. Let me see. Down again. Excellent. Keep going. I said I can't do uh, my knees. My knees just a crack like. <laughs> yeah, but you you giving me you giving me half right now. That's okay. Remember, you, I mean, you you have a bad knee, so we have to do uh, what we can within your means or your ability, we should say. Lean back for me a little bit. Okay. It's the core engaged. Uh, okay, switch, <laughs> switch, switch. Switch uh, like this. Uh, you, either way. <sighs> okay. Now remember the trail leg, the toe. There you go. Okay. Shoulders good. Good. Now stop for a second. Don't move. The front leg. Go forward. The front leg only. Pick it up. No, pick it. Move your foot forward. The front foot. Front foot. Okay. Forward. Forward. Wider. Now take the back leg back a little bit more. Back. More. Again. Further. One more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about. Give it to me. No. Lean back a little bit now. Lean back. Now go down. Pressure on that back. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like you're eating a hamburger over there. Ooh. <laughs> But I know it'll pay off. <laughs> yes, it will. Yes, it will. Mm. Let's go with a walkout push-up. Remember, I modified it. The position is you lean over, okay? Okay. <laughs> I don't 
gateway to your soul. <laughs> you can tell me anything. I'm not, I'm not looking at your countenance. I'm looking right here. <laughs> what did I ask you guys when I came in? How do you feel? Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to ask you because you came in after us. But I asked you, then I not. How do you feel? doesn't really even ask you that. It tells me how I'm going to train you. It tells me where your mindset is. Mm -hmm. And just a few words that you say to me. You can say, oh, I'm okay. Okay. I'm doing great. Okay. Well, I have a little ache here. Ah, okay. Again, it gives me something to go on dealing with your mindset. And again, I can push you, push you, push you, but if you don't have a desire to do it, it's not getting done. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> it's not. You, you can come in here today and do it and walk out of there, walk out of here. And not do anything else right past today. Okay, that's not how it works. Okay, now we've we've covered a lot of glute movements. Let's do some more glute movements, and then we're gonna go to the uh, upper body a little bit. We're gonna work on a little bit of upper body. We've done some stomach at movements. One, I want you guys to really focus on the, the, the core. So when I say the core, we're talking about your stomach and your lower back. For instance, you say, well, what can I do for my lower back? I'm going to do a movement. It's called a good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? <laughs> Everybody doing okay? <laughs> Go again. I'm looking at your shoulders. Try it again. <laughs> 